What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard here on the channel. If you all enjoy today's content, always give it a big thumbs up as always and subscribe for more WWE Supercard content. Like the last two days, you guys have been freaking amazing. Pretty much these last three days. And oh my God, the amount of support from just streaming and stuff like that. You guys are wickedly insane. All right, so big thank you. To all of you who have attended the streams, man, you've always had like 100, 150 people on stream and stuff. It has just been wicked as hell, and I want to say thank you guys so much. We're literally about to hit 14K, maybe today if we're lucky, maybe today, which would be kind of be cool, because uh, I could celebrate on Sunday with a stream, if you could. So yeah, but in today's video, uh, I want to pretty much do like the last day of these QR codes for you guys, because you know, maybe, some of you may not know about it yet, maybe some of you do. But this will be the last day I bring these up because I'm sure most people have already done it. So, yeah. And, of course, I'll be proing up Rusev, giving you guys my opinion on how you should have token him. And, uh, yeah, so, because it's not really much. I'm not on a team right now, so I really can't provide that content. We did all the content on stream. So, yeah, until then, we, we are pretty much lay low on content currently. So let me just get into the QR codes real quick. On the code on the very right to my right, that is a code from Supercard. They gave away 300 credits as a gift. So guys, that code on the very right, if you have not claimed that yet, if you have, you won't get it again. If you haven't claimed it yet, then go ahead and claim it. It's 300 credits. The code to my bottom right, right over there, oh, bottom left in your angle, is a QR code for 4K battle points. If you have not claimed that one yet, that one would give you the 4K battle points. Uh, that one came from Zupers. Oh my God, barbecue! So guys, go ahead and you know thank you for that one. And Cat Daddy, that one right there is 4K battle points. And the new one from yesterday is under me right now. I've seen people saying I can't scan. I can't. Like I don't know why they can't scan it. You know. I'll move it up just a little bit so maybe they can call maybe, maybe but I was scanning it just fine there was no problems whatsoever so I don't know why people are saying you can't scan it I guess maybe exit your game out or something like that but just you can scan this one and it is an additional 300 credits it's the same code as that one said this is a brand new code that gives you 300 credits and I believe that one came also from Super Zomega Barbecue. So thank you to Super Zomega Barbecue again and Cat Daddy for that code. Thank the people that give you the codes, guys. Like I've seen some YouTubers not even give any credit to anyone. You got to give credit because they're providing us the content. You got to give them credit. So a big thank you to Cat Daddy and JB as well. So let's get off the QR code stuff already. Uh, I'll leave them on screen for you guys to scan them. But yeah, this will be the last day you'll see them on my videos because most people have already done this. I believe 100% most people have already done this. But this is my last day of ever advertising it until we probably get new codes in the future. Now let's get into the heroic Rusev. We finished him last night on stream and I told everyone, hey, I think the best way to token Rusev would be in speed. So you see here, we got a 40, 40, 40, 40, 20 Rusev, 40, 40, 40, 40, 20 Rusev, which means this Rusev is ready to go. So we're going to pro him up. They're both level 75. Let's combine. Booyah, booyah. Heroic Rusev. Right there. Uh, don't know why in Cat Daddy's screenshot, they went power, speed, and proc. It made me chuckle like crazy. I wanted to lose it. So, yeah. And then, of course, the next pro we're going to go ahead and do is doing the Stone Cold Steve Austin that we got from a team event about a week ago. And I, and I was just lazy as hell to finish him up. But here we go. Stone Cold Steve Austin is now a pro. One of the best cards. One of the top shadow cards of the game. So, I'll take it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually level these up. Oh, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll pro Nijax too. 40, 40, 40, 40. I don't even know why I bother with this because I know it's probably going to make my deck after the next event. But I guess I'll, I'll just probably for the sake of the bands. All right. So we're going to get rid of a couple of Gothic cards maybe that I do not need. I do need Selena Vega. I still not have Pro Selena Vega yet, which is insane. All right. So we do have a Kevin Owens here. I'm probably... I don't think I have Ember Moon in any of my decks. No. So she can go two, and those two cards should max out both cards. 
So let's go up. There's Stone Cold. We'll improve him. We'll give him Ember Moon. Boom. There you go. 80. Overall, an amazing card. This is how I usually token my cards. I don't like this, in my opinion, is just not worth it. You get 900 points in power, or you can get 4,440 in procs. That sounds like a better deal for me, in my opinion, over a 900 in power. So, guys, pick your poison, what you, what you like best. But this is what I like. All right, so Stone Cold is completely done. Now here's Rusev. And we're, gonna, we're not going to give him Neon Dolph. We could, but why? And there is Heroic Rusev. Now I'm going to go ahead and increase him here. Increase him there. And of course, in proc as well. And we're going to see how this Rusev matches up against my Elias. Now my Rusev, in theory, should three stat. Elias, the way I had tokened him. Now, it's not going to touch this rock. It's not going to even get close to that rock. So here you go. Right now, he currently does not beat him in power, but after all his games have been played, because you're going to go up 900 power at least, he will be 786 in power, which will beat Elias. And then you have here... 785 in toughness he beats Elias again and Elias was three token in toughness so yeah you're gonna beat every Elias most likely guaranteed 100% and then you have speed which is at 766 or it could be 767 for you if you did not decide to do the token way and he still beats Elias he destroys Elias in my opinion still in speed so and even if you win speed on Elias, I still think Rusev wins because I think he had better speed anyways. And then you still have Charisma. Now, if you went Charisma on this, your, your Rusev is going to be 768 maybe in Charisma or 7670, which you're still going to lose to half heroic Elias, which is what most people have. So, honestly, I think going Charisma on Rusev is a complete waste of time, in my opinion. Because half heroic will still beat it. And then non heroic will probably be near it. Not as much, but you know, it'll be close, but I don't think so. So most people do have non heroics now. You'll probably you'll probably see now that most people have half heroic. Most people have half heroics that I've seen. So if you guys want my my honest opinion, I say power, toughness, and speed on this Rusev. You three stat Elias, and that's it. It's a done deal. Don't have to worry about it. Yada, yada, yada. Go with this one if you want my best opinion on it. You can go whatever way you like. But that's just my personal opinion on proing that card. So, yeah, guys. That will do it for today's video. There's not going to be really much. That was just my uh, my theory of helping you guys out if you guys are going for the Rusev or not. Uh, this is also, I would recommend this going for, like, if you're going for the full heroic, of course. Even half heroic allies, you still want to go for this type of theory because, you know, half heroic and, you know, half Rusev heroic, you're still going to beat half heroic allies, but then when it comes to full heroic, obviously you're not going to stand a chance. So yeah, guys, that would do it for today's video. I don't have anything else to really show. And, you know, if you guys have not claimed those QR codes yet, if you haven't claimed it, please go ahead and go claim it and uh, enjoy yourself some free credits and some free uh, battle points. It's, it's a gift from Supercard and JB to you. So, guys, that'll do today's video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you all enjoy today's video. It was pretty <laughs> lackluster, in my opinion, of just talking strategy and QR codes that you probably already scanned. So, yeah, probably a crappy video today. I'm sorry, guys. But I won't be able to stream today because I'm going back to work. Uh, I'll probably stream tomorrow, guys, anyways. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. We'll probably hit the, the goal today of 14K. So, if we can hit that, that would be wicked as fuck. And uh, we can celebrate on stream tomorrow. Why not? You know, maybe I could do a little giveaway on stream, if anything. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. We're about to hit 10 minutes. My God. Like, I'm so close to 10 minutes. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs>